Say hi. He's sleeping. Hey, hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have a new video for you. It is a summer fashion haul, which I've been so eager to share with you guys because I've been collecting summer vibed pieces that I've purchased and pieces that have been gifted to me. So I decided to actually do two videos for you guys. This video is a haul, so it's gonna be sharing all the pieces that I've gotten and kind of where my inspiration came from for what I'm channeling this summer and the vibe and the clothes that I'm rocking this summer. And then also a lookbook video video which is going to share how I styled some of these pieces so be sure to check out that lookbook I am going to link it because I'm gonna both of the videos are gonna come out at the same day so I will link it up here or it's linked down below if you want to see all the pieces that I am gonna be rocking this summer and my vibe and style for this summer then keep watching so I thought it'd be really fun to start out this video by sharing where my inspiration and you know where where I draw inspiration for my clothes and each season and at each season I always buy new pieces because I really enjoy experimenting with fashion and just trying out new things. I love fashion so I'm always you know interested in seeing what trends are out and you know embracing them and styling them because I just feel you know we're always growing and evolving and it's always fun to try new things so I'm always trying out new things each season so I thought it'd be fun to share how I kind of Pro, like my process of that and you know I get a lot of inspiration through fashion editorials on live bloggers girls I follow on Instagram and what I do because I, I'm such an impulse shopper that I just buy things I like and I've just noticed that with my closet because I have such you know I love a lot of things my taste is different I end up a collecting things that kind of don't create a cohesive wardrobe or closet and I find that when you have a cohesive wardrobe or closet or you know maybe each season's a little bit cohesive you can really interchange the pieces that you're wearing I love versatility when it comes to fashion if I don't love affordability I love versatility just as much as affordable fashion and you know Thing, buying things that are priced well. So I like to make sure that, you know, pieces are interchangeable each season and how I do that and how it's curbed by impulsive shopping is save photos of styles I like, you know, bloggers I like. So I like to save all those images and create a Pinterest board and I going to share this summer's Pinterest board with you guys so I shared a link below but I will gather all the images that I've liked from different bloggers and whatnot and I have you know then once you look at it you kind of see styles and vibes that you're really drawn to and a lot of the times you're repeating things so it could be Jaden cut off shorts it could be off the shoulder tops that you're really drawn to so I love pinning just different pieces and styles into one board and then just looking at it and seeing okay like what piece pieces that am I really drawn to, what pieces that I've repeated, like what kind of styles or photos have I repeated. So let's say if it's an off the shoulder top, I'm like cool, well, I'm going to look for an off the shoulder top, like I'm really eyeing that piece. So that's how I've been able to kind of focus in each season on buying pieces that I'm going to wear, that I'm going to like, and that are make sure are versatile. And so what's really great too is now I do that on Instagram. So we have those saved photos and collections feature now. So anytime I like a style or a photo or whatnot, I save it into a collection so I can't share my Instagram collections with you guys I'm gonna share my Pinterest board with you guys so as you can see through my Pinterest board I'm channeling pieces that are super feminine a lot of these pieces are girly in my opinion but super effortless and chic so my haul shares a lot of pieces that are that vibe pieces that I think you can just easily throw on and go so as you can see this is kind of the vibe I really liked for this summer um, most of those pieces are expensive but if you know me, you know everything I wear is affordable. I just love affordable fashion when it comes to just trends. Um, certain pieces like shoes and bags I think are worth the investment. So that's kind of my spiel about like how I get inspired. Pretty cool because this summer my style has definitely been a little bit different. I live in my Levi's, Levi's shorts. I'm a California girl. We're super casual over here. Um, but... I'm channeling a very feminine vibe this year. I'm super, super surprised and impressed. Like, I'm wearing pink right now. Um, this shirt I actually got from American Eagle, which is so, so exciting. Some pieces in my haul have been gifted to me, which is so rad and awesome. But what's cool is that these pieces are pieces that I would totally buy myself. So I'm not showing you guys things just to show you guys 
oh look at they gave me this but really generally showing you guys things that are super affordable and pieces that I would have bought on my own but yeah so I'm so impressed with myself for embracing pink and off the shoulder because I love 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 this I wore this in Italy and I wear it all the time it's super light it has like a linen texture and vibe so it's super breathable but it's actually viscose and the pink's pretty um, so yeah a lot of these pieces are super affordable and super feminine and just super girly in my opinion and I love them so let's get to this haul um, First up is this super cute crop top. Um, this I picked up at a local boutique in Long Beach and it's called Sister LB. She gifted me a couple pieces. I would have bought them. So this is an adorable floral print kind of cropped tie. Super cute. You can, it's like a bikini top vibe, but I really liked it. There's just something about the hibiscus flowers. I love anything Hawaiian or island culture and vibe. So this was super chic in my opinion and just so summery and happy and pretty. And I love that it ties. The knot is stayed tied and then there's like an elastic back so it's stretchy. This is a small. I'm pretty petite uh, breast size wise. I'm a 32C. So in the small I actually don't fill it in. So it's kind of loose on me. So I think this is more of like a medium size. I can say it runs a little large and it's by the brand Signature 8 and just thought this was so feminine and pretty. I think it'd be styled great with a pair of high waist shorts, high waist jeans, cropped culottes. Love these. This I actually bought, this is a wrap top which I've shared on my Instagram and I just, there's just something, this is not something I would normally gravitate towards but that brand Realization Par, which is by Fourth and Bleecker, uh, she created, you know, just brought back really feminine, vintage, chic pieces that are wrap tops, wrap dresses, and this one was $20. I just thought it just channeled that vibe. Bought it. I'm not in love with the print because they're little flowers that with brown. Um, kind of and about it but it totally you know I get the vibe and the style that I wanted so super pretty I wore it with the denim skirt I think it looked great with Levi's white shorts white jeans so got this top next up is this gingham top and I got this from shop gypsy she gifted me some pieces also and I really like it. I'm really into off-the-shoulder tops right now. They're just something so pretty and feminine, you know, wearing jeans and letting everything else hit out, but, you know, letting your shoulders peak. There's something just so, you know, it's a little sexy, a little flirty, so I love, love, love. I didn't tie these right, so it's like keeps falling off. But anyways, this was super cute crop top gingham. A little bit, not three quarters, but it hits the elbows. It has straps. Just super fun and flirty and summery. I think it'd be great with jeans, skirt, super, super wearable. Love it. Another gingham piece. Gingham has been another thing I've embraced this summer is this long sleeve cotton Zara wrap top. I fell in love with it. I bought it back in May. It's gray. It's pretty thick but breathable and it wraps around and it's super cute. I wore it with Levi's already. <sighs> great with the Levi's skirt, great with white pants. Perfectly summer, very romantic. Other top is from Shop Gypsy as well. It is a total pajama style top. I'm normally not into tops like this, button downs. I don't know, I just felt like I like things that are a little bit more flirty and feminine, but there was just something pretty about this and it looks expensive. I love the polka dots and the black, you know, lining around here and it buttons up. Definitely check out how I styled it in my summer lookbook because I love how it turned out. I ended up knotting it in my favorite Levi's shorts and it's just super comfy and awesome. what's awesome about this top is it's a work top, it's, you know, dressy, it can be casual, it's comfortable. Very, very chic in my opinion. Again with the gingham. This is actually a set that I got from Capulet. They gifted me this piece. Wore this in Rome, loved it. It has matching pants and it is so, so cute. I like pieces that are versatile. So, you know, this is can be great with shorts, a jean skirt. So versatile and this you can rock with any type of t-shirt, a white t-shirt. 
it's just so great. So you literally have two outfits in one, but I love how it's paired. It's so breathable, perfect for summer. Really liked it. It's linen. I feel like you can get away with not ironing it, so it's super comfortable, but yeah, it's a little crinkly, super light, and there's pockets on here. And I will say if you buy this piece, it runs big because I got a small in this and I had to take it to the tailor to kind of fit at my waist. So I definitely recommend downsizing in this. Again, with my feminine vibe, I got a skirt. I don't know, this whole wrap skirt vibe, just feminine and just girly is just... I'm really surprised I'm embracing it, but this is actually a skirt that goes, hits my knee. It goes a little above it because it's kind of high-low. This one's polka dot, and I got it at Shop Gypsy. She gifted it to me, and I fell in love with it because it hits me high-waisted a bit and just very flattering. Check out how I styled this piece. I really like how I did this. I think it'll look great with a t-shirt, a crop top, dressy, casual, sneakers, sandals. Really into this style for those of you that have you know jobs that you have to work in the summer it's a great piece for office day and night so and then this piece I got a while back that I've rocked already this gingham skirt but it's actually a skort so cool um so it's super cheeky and feminine and flirty i actually rocked it with a bodysuit but i think this would look so cool with a cool vintage rocker t-shirt and sneakers i've rocked it with heels and a bodysuit it was super feminine and flirty but i'm ready to rock this with a t-shirt um it come, i've seen other ones online that they come in black but i just really like how flattering the ruffle is the detailing summery pretty oh another wrap style piece is this wrap skirt from American Eagle I just I've worn this so many times instead of my shorts and it wraps and it's so flirty and super cute American Eagle super affordable you guys this is American Eagle I don't know if I told you guys that but this is American Eagle I had a couple pieces gifted to me from them and I so love them so perfect for summer so breathable next up is next of our dresses um i actually bought this one from avec la Fields, um when they had their pop-up they have a pop-up shop in la right now so i bought this one and that's when i fell in love with their pieces super feminine super flattering love the white the sleeves are sheer it's lined it snips at the waist so classic this modern 50s feminine woman that I'm really into right now with this. Uh, this is another Avec La Fiel skirt, I mean dress, that is almost wrap style. I love, love, love the wrap style, but this one doesn't wrap. It actually zips on the side. Super, super easy to wear. And here's another dress. Again, very feminine and pretty off the shoulder. These tie around the arms. I love this tomato-y. It's coming up more red, but it's actually an orangey red, and it's just one of my favorite colors. I will say the arms are a little constricting. I wore this over the weekend out to a barbecue with my friends, and we went dancing after. I was doing this kind of like robot dinosaur dance going on, so I had to pull the sleeves off, but super pretty, and it has pockets, and definitely can rock with Sneakers, sandals, high heels, day and night, such a good piece. Those are all the clothing pieces that I picked up myself that I've been gifted for the summer. Now, let's go with shoes. So, I don't like wearing flip-flops in the summer. I don't know what it is about my feet being close to the dirt, like the streets. I don't know, it's just super weird. It kind of hurts my feet too. My like calves get sore from... I don't know. It's just like not a sandal wear. I, it's flip-flop girl, but I love a heeled sandal and I love sneakers. So I picked up a couple new pairs of sneakers and heeled sandals. I didn't tell already, vintage is my thing. Your girl loves a good vintage pair of jeans, whatever it is. I love vintage items. So when I heard that Nike was bringing back the Cortez, well, they've always been around, but they ended up 
creating a couple new styles to celebrate their 45th anniversary. I picked up these new Nike Cortezes that were a collaboration with Olivia Kim and she's actually the B VP of Creative Projects for Nordstrom's and Nordstrom's invited me to their kind of kickoff party that they were having to celebrate this collaboration and I bought those there and I just love the navy and there's pink accent and it says Cortez in pink back here. So there's just something classic about the navy sneaker it's a little bit tomboy a little bit edgy but a little bit feminine and so cute with dresses so great with shorts they're super comfortable I actually wore them all over Europe and had no issues breaking them in I definitely think they're super comfortable and they were actually created for runners back in the 70s so this is actually intended to be a running shoe so it's so interesting to see the evolution of this is one of Nike's original products and then where they are at now where they have like these fly knit sock style sneakers that you can run with. And I just love them. I love how nostalgic they are. They are such an LA style staple as well. So I really am into them. And my mom used to rock Cortezes, so there's that little nostalgia that I love about these sneakers. So I already had them in white. This is white with black and rock them all the time. As you can see, they're dirty. So when I went to the Cortez event, I picked these up and these are actually guy sizing. So it's a little bit bigger. These are women's sizing. So I would say go with the women's size because it actually just fits better. It's not so big as you can see, kind of like, I don't know, the toe kind of folds. So um, I still rock them, I wear them. But yeah, I think they're super rad, super chic. Nike Cortez is love. So these are the slides that I picked up. I grew up, my mom rocked shoes like this when I was a kid, so maybe that's why I like this style. But I just love a heel. I'm 5'1". I will use, I will take any boost I can to be a little bit taller. Um, these caught my eye. I got these off Shopbop a couple weeks ago and I brought them to Europe with me. I just think they're so polished and so chic. These have straps all the way across that I was kind of afraid would be uncomfortable, but they're suede so they'll stretch. But they actually had another strap that like hit my nails and it just bothered me. So I ended up cutting that off and I really like these because I didn't really bring too many pairs of heels when I went to Europe. So I rocked these a little bit dressy and they were great casual. So. I like the black, how it's a bit dressy, a bit casual, very 90s to me, super comfy, Jeffrey Campbell, love. And then I got these brown slides, these are shuts, and they're block heel, they're brown, kind of coppery color, bronzy color, and super comfortable. I'm a big fan of shuts, they're super comfortable, they're made in Brazil, um, leather sole, I love a leather sole because they stretch out really well. And I like the versatility of having a brown and black shoe. They're fairly similar in the sense that they have a block heel and you can wear them with anything. But I genuinely love how this one can be day and night and this is a little bit more casual so you can definitely pair this, you know, with any casual outfit whether you are going to brunch, whether you're just going down the street, you can rock with jeans, you can rock with a dress. So I like these as a more polished alternative for casual wear and I just like these because these work day and night. So. These are the sandals that I picked up. All right, so the last style of shoes that I got are espadrilles. I definitely think espadrilles are the epitome of summer. They are such a summer shoe and they're so comfortable and they surprisingly keep your feet super cool and like not overheating and hot like a sneaker would. Um, I definitely find them super comfortable and a must every summer. The funny thing about espadrilles is if you wear them all the time and let's say the sandal versions and your feet sweat, they don't have longevity. The jute, jute, it's called jute, it's like this fabric that's this thread that makes the sole of an espadrille and once that kind of gets dirty and sweaty and gross, you really can't take that smell out. You can't really wash these because you know, the whole shoe will break apart. Yeah, I picked up espadrilles. To me, they're just super effortless and cool and super chic. They really make an outfit. They rock with dresses and jeans, and I love a high heel version. There's some really pretty fem feminine styles. It's such a classic piece, and I definitely think you should pick up an espadrille at some point in your lifetime. So yeah, I found these off Shopbop. They are by Saludos, and this is suede. It's a little dirty because I've rocked them, but yeah, it's by Saludos. And these are the gladiator style because they wrap around the ankle. 
and they're super comfortable and they go with everything so I totally totally recommend them and then I got these espadrille version whoa Sneaker versions. They're by Steve Madden. They are a platform which I really, really like. I saw a pair of Superga platforms. Supergas aren't really that comfortable to me, and they were $89. So I thought, you know, for a trend and a piece, I didn't want to buy a shoe and spend that much money if it's not that comfortable for me, especially since it's such like a trendy, fun piece. It's not necessarily a classic piece. These Steve Maddens were on sale at Nordstrom, so they were $34, so I figured, perfect, great opportunity to try, you know, a platform sneaker. And I will say, they were a bit hard to break in. The canvas is super sturdy, so it took a minute to get comfortable, but these are so, so, so comfortable. I really like them and then I looked online and the Supergers are now on sale because we're already in July so they're on sale for 30 bucks so I will link it below if you want to try you you guys my mom just walked in right now she wants to help let me give you a hat you're so beautiful <laughs> look at this finger hi so, mom, you gotta hold my item can I give you a hand so we're gonna this canvas is very strong very sturdy. Laces. Laces. This is the espadrille platform. Can you show them the platform, please? Oh, well, very espadrille version. <laughs> Perfect. And talk about the little grommet on the back. Steve Madden right there. <laughs> Get your finger out of here, Mom. It's a hat. Perks of living at home, guys. Oh, look at you. Your hair so lovely. Oh, thank you, Mom. <laughs> So Superga has them on sale now for 29 bucks, which is super awesome because it's a little bit cheaper than what I bought these for. And I would say try the Supergas because they're a bitter, they're a bit bitter. They're a little bit better quality because I've already noticed the Espadrille is already like kind of coming apart, which is kind of annoying. So I don't think these will last this summer, which is kind of a bummer. So it's like you know, all coming apart over here. So yeah, I might pick up the Superga versions because 29 bucks, I'm like, why not? Um, so I might pick those up because they looked a little bit more sturdy and better made. And I think there's a bit of a higher platform. So yeah, really into these sneaker drills, espadrille sneakers. And now for accessories. I picked up this boater hat, which I really love. I'm not really a hat girl, but there's just something cool and effortless and easy and just a cute way to protect yourself from the rays, you know? Don't forget your sunblock, but it's just super chic and I've been eyeing these hats for a while. A piece that have been trending the last couple summers, so I definitely think these boater hats have become a staple. And this one I got from Sister LB and it was like 24 bucks. So I figured, you know, why not try it? Some of um, these hats I've seen are too tall, but this one's just so perfect and I have a big head, so for a hat to fit my head, it's a big deal. So I loved this, super chic. Again, such a cool girl vibe. I think they look great with Levi's, a dress, I'm really into it. So check out how I rock this boater hat. Now time for sunglasses. If you've been following me, then you've seen me rock these white Kurt Cobain style frames. These are from Shop Gypsy, $10. I've rocked them so much. They go with everything. They're just super cool, super edgy, super fun. Love them. They're such a 90s throwback, super nostalgic. So I've worn the crap out of these and I love them. So I decided to get them in black with this kind of peachy, peachy pink frame. Take this hat off. I don't know, they're just super fun and cool and surprisingly edgy and I really like them. So I have these in white and black and 10 bucks. There's so many other colors and styles, so if like white isn't your thing, but honestly, they go with everything. I would suggest a black, they come in red, so many colors, so you can't go wrong with picking up a couple pairs. And you know, brands like Saint Laurent, Rain, and Acne have these glasses, these white ones for like $200 to $400, which I feel like because I wear them so much, I could invest in that, but there's just something nice with like spending $10. This pair of sunglasses is probably one of the most extensive pieces in this haul, my Nike Cortez Olivia Kim um, collaboration sneakers, and these sunglasses were about like 100 
and $20. I fell in love with these sunglasses because I saw a lot of girls, I'm gonna clean them as I tell you guys, I saw a lot of girls that I follow, a couple girls, not a lot, a couple girls I follow on Instagram rocking these in red and they were just so, so cool. I've been eyeing them, but they're actually sold out. So when I looked online, Matches Fashion had them in clear and I bought them and I was a little weary that they would be too small for my face because I have a big head. Um, and I love them. I just think they have so much attitude. They dress up a look. They're just super cool. I wore them in Europe. Just just such an easy pop to any outfit. So I, I definitely think the pieces that I'm sharing you guys can easily add, just give you a cool, cool summer vibe look. So these sunglasses are amazing. Um, they are $77, but I think these come out to like 110 so not crazy crazy expensive but yeah definitely in the hundreds and they're clear and mirrored and I love them they're awesome quality they're just so rad they come in red I really think I might want to buy the black ones because I think that'd be great for fall but yeah it comes in a great huge huge case for such tiny glasses so those are the glasses I got for summer next up is basket bags they are such a chic and girly and feminine and just cool piece I think in my and just a cool piece to have they since the 70s and even before that so I can promise you this is going to be a piece that is going to have longevity in your wardrobe and I think a cool piece that you can definitely pass on you know to your kids or grandkids or just I don't know just a, definitely a cool piece, cool piece to rock um, yeah these are both off Etsy this one was 30 and it's surprisingly big so it'll be cool to hold a lot I haven't used this one yet but I have been using this round one which I'm sure you guys have seen all over Instagram Sincerely Jewels collage vintage Ami Song have been rocking these round bags and I think they are upwards in like the hundred dollar price range which I think is worth the price. It has a leather strap and it's really well made and sturdy but I did my research and I found this one on Etsy for $65 and then $5 shipping so $70 total and I think it was so worth it because it is actually lined so the flap just doesn't fall open. I've seen some bags online that just opens up, but this one is lined. And then it closes with this little hook over this little kind of little nub. And super sturdy. I've worn, I got it last week and I've worn it all weekend. And it surprisingly holds a lot. I have a receipt. I have the cute little card, my little card wallet in there. Um, I have a Nordstrom bag to return. I have a couple things to return from Nordstrom, so that's in there. Um, my keys, bomb.com guys, my cell phone all fit in there, so I definitely think it's the perfect, perfect size, super cute. If you're petite, I think it's the perfect size, if you're a little bit taller, it's going to hit you a bit higher, so take, keep that in mind, um, but love it, so cute, so cute. And then lastly, earrings. They are such an easy piece to rock and wear. They really go with everything. These are beaded ball drop ear. Pop of color just instantly ties an outfit together. So look really awesome with a vintage t-shirt, shorts, a dress, you name it. I think these are so awesome and they look really expensive. And these are actually from Sister LB and they were $15. And then I picked up these a while back. They're red little braided. I wore them in one of my beauty haul videos that I did and I really like them. And then I also got these silver hoops that are kind of hammered flat. And I really like them. I don't have silver hoops that I rock that are really wearable. So I bought these. All right, so that is my haul video. I hope you liked it. I hope you find some pieces just to kind of add to your summer look and your summer wardrobe. All these pieces are super, super affordable. I Again, the sunglasses and Nikes are a little not so affordable. They are a little bit more expensive, but simply accenting your wardrobe with a $30 basket bag or $15 earrings just really really adds to an outfit and just makes so summery. I love it. So I hope you find some inspiration in this haul. I hope you find some cool pieces. Be sure to check out how I styled some of these pieces 
in my lookbook, my summer lookbook that I'm sharing with you. It'll be linked down below. So yeah, I hope you like this video. Let me know what vibes and pieces you're channeling this summer. I'd love to see how you're, you know, embracing summer and how your vibe is. So I will let you go and I'll check in on my next video. Bye.